Okay, now let's bring in the big man. Bill O'Reilly just spent two hours meeting with the former president. Good to see you. You look sunned and rested. What was your takeaway? Well, first of all, I don't want to look grumpy like Carville, so I hope I'm, you know, I'm yeah, refreshed right? from my Florida vacation. Uh, secondly, I dined at Mar-a-Lago with the former president last Tuesday. Long conversation, two hours. That was before the arrest mania. And I did not ask him about his legal um, situations. Uh, we talked about his run for president and uh, policy. Okay, as we talked about it, was, but this is the longest one-on-one -on -one I ever had with him. Some was off the record, but most was on the record. I think you'll find interesting uh, because you said earlier in the broadcast, well, why is the federal government getting involved in this at the House of Representatives? Because Trump is a declared presidential candidate. So therefore, everything that happens in Manhattan is a federal, uh, is under the purview of the federal government. And I'm going to make a stunning prediction on the Cuomo show right now. If Donald Trump is arrested, and that may not happen now because of the storm, and Bragg himself, the DA, knows he's going to be charged as well with prosecutorial misconduct. He will be charged. Um, if that goes forward, then it is 100 percent that the House of Representatives will refer criminal charges against the Biden family, possibly including the president himself. That will happen because Republicans are going to rightly say, you want to destroy our guy? We're going to destroy your guy. And that will happen. That's the big shadow that no one's talking about over this situation right now. That is very cynical because you haven't even mentioned that they would have proof behind their suggestion that Biden or any Bidens should be prosecuted, but you say it would be rightly so? Why? Just because they rightly think it was so political, in a political on way. the other side? Yeah. But that's an abuse that's right. of it's, political power. It's malpractice. Well, yeah, all right. I mean, I'm not going to argue the ethics of it. I'm telling you what's going to happen, and the Republican Party is going to fight, cliche alert, fire with fire. Now, whether they'll get anywhere, whether they have anything, I don't know. But whatever they have is going to be referred to the Justice Department, which will do nothing. Merrick Carlin will never do anything about it. Well, they, they have to do nothing if you smear, don't give them any proof. Well, whatever. It's smear all day long on both sides. And this does the country no good. And you made a Agreed. mistake earlier, Cuomo. I hate to, I hate to chastise you now. Let's but see whether it's a mistake after you arrest. explain it. Who? Okay, it was a mistake, and just calm down. Who? A president was Who? arrested and convicted. U.S. Grant, 1876. Ulysses got in his horse buggy, whipped around D.C. about 30 miles an hour. That's 10 over the speed limit. Cop pulled him over. President Grant pled guilty. They fined him 20 bucks, that's, which is about that's $700 today. Are you, it's are on you his record. Me? It's and on because his record. You just said, because you just played such small ball, do you know what Dusty just said in my ear when you were saying that? Oh, well, yeah. I'm going bad on you, Dusty. I'm going bad on you. Yes, I am. She said, you know why Bill knows well, that? Well, we don't know. He was the, the only well, one who was know. alive then. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're in trouble, Cuomo. If you see Cuomo go in and out of focus, you know why. But we don't know about Grant is if Stormy Daniels was in the back seat. We do not know that. Yeah. I do not know that. But I will say this. Uh, one, thank you uh, for passing along uh, that you were with him and, and what the feel of that is. I know people can see it on BillOReilly.com. Uh, there's going to be a lot of need to consume right now. But I am much more bothered by this uh, than, than you are. And I want to talk about that for a second. Because I don't like dismissing it as tit for tat that we may go deeper into this hole on the Republican side. I don't like saying that Bragg is going to be charged with prosecutorial misconduct. By whom? I don't know that he can make the case, but who's going to charge him with prosecutorial misconduct? They'll find somebody to do it. 
Um, and, and it's a federal beef, by the way, because, again, Trump is a declared presidential candidate. Takes him yeah, out I know, of but the I don't state think of New York. I don't think the fiat is that straight a line. And I'll tell you why. In Jim Jordan's letter, it wasn't he's uh, an announced presidential candidate. Therefore, we have oversight. It was we want to investigate the use of federal dollars in New York for policing and see where it went, which was some kind of like Fugazi extension of like purse All strings. Right. But it doesn't sound like he's got a good basis. Whatever excuse they're using, what's going to happen is all hell is going to be directed at Alvin Bragg. You know that. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.